Well, good morning, Messiah Church family. Pastor Tammy here with our dog, Jack. Sit down. Several of you have asked if you could actually see Jack in one of my videos rather than just a flash of fur across the backyard. So this is Jack. He's our three-year-old golden retriever. He's pretty much the best dog in the world. I mean, shouldn't everybody say it about their dog? I think so. Okay, good boy. You did a good job. You know, each April, right after Easter, there he goes, <laughs> Um, I go away by myself to a hermitage in the wood to read and to pray and to plan what the next upcoming year sermon series might look like. And I think about what might be happening in our community and in our world and in the lives of the Messiah Church family. And I ask God to help me know what word, what message God would like me to share with you during that time. You know, with the presidential election coming up this November, I suspected there might be some extra fear and anxiety in the system this fall. And let's be honest, it's on all of our hearts and minds right now, isn't it? You know, some pastors will choose not to talk about this and just pretend like nothing's happening. Other pastors will go so far as to tell you who you should vote for. Well, your Messiah Church pastors will do neither of those. You know, Pastor Bethany and Pastor Brian and I believe that our calling as your pastors is to make disciples of Jesus Christ and to care for the spiritual well-being of the entire Messiah Church family, no matter who you choose to vote for. So this fall, we're going to focus on the biblical themes of connection and kindness with an extra focus on our mental health and well-being. So this Sunday, we're going to kick off the first sermon series. It's called Created for Connection. You know, God created us for community and connection. We were not created to do this life alone. So we're going to look at some of the experiences of the early church and how God leads us into meaningful relationships with God's self and with one another. So our first message is entitled Connections Among Christians. And we're going to look at how fire ants and the Christian community are similar. This is also the first Sunday. We we're starting our early service at 845. This is both for in-person and online. So if you are a first person worshiper, make a note of that. Our choir's back, our handbell choir's back. It's going to be a great morning of worship and worship music at 845. And our second service will begin at 1030 as per usual. We're also kicking off our Kids Street Sunday School and our Middle School Sunday Schools this week. We're inviting you to wear your Messiah shirts if you got one. Show our Messiah Church connections. If you don't, any shade of Messiah blue would also do. And after each worship, we're having a Sunday Sunday party in the parking lot. That's ice cream sundaes served in the parking lot along with our delicious Messiah Church coffee, uh, some entertainment, and I'm guessing some very excellent conversation and connection with the Messiah Church friends. I hope you'll all plan to be there in person if you can. Let's gather the Messiah Church family and kick off this fall ministry season together. The other thing I want to share with you is that our second sermon series is called Do Under Other. That'll start in October and it's all around kindness, treating each other with kindness during the election season. And so we have these yard signs that we have available now. We'll have them on Sunday available for you. We also are um, making t-shirts with this same logo on it. Um, just to help remind folks that no matter um, your political leanings in this season, treating each other with kindness is what Jesus calls us to do. So these will be available on Sunday um, in the atrium of the church if you're interested in one of that, in one of those. Okay, Jack has been very patient and uh, I think he's ready for his walk, as am I. So I'm gonna say, have a great weekend. I hope to see you in person on Sunday if you're able to be there, if you're in town, if you're feeling well. And if not, there's always the online worship option as well. So take care, God bless.